Steve here, hope you're doing well and welcome to another episode of Steal This Chord Progression. This is episode 2 and as the title of this video suggests, feel free to take away the chord progression that I'll show you in this video and apply it to your own song ideas. And the chord progression for this video is a lovely 4-6-5 progression which sounds like this. You'll hear this chord progression quite often in songs and it has a nice little bit of tension to it and it works quite well as a bridge section to a song or perhaps a verse section of the song because you can resolve it nicely to 5-1 at the end. So for example, F, A the 6th, D the 5th, resolve it nicely down there to the C. Notably, you'll hear this progression in the song Nautilus by Cover. And you'll also hear it in the bridge section of the song Unicorns by the wonderful math pop band Colour. So let's take these basic open chords out of Boring Land and make them a bit more interesting. So instead we're going to play an F major 9. A minor 9 and a G sus4 an example of what you could do with these chords. So if you're confused as to what I mean by 4, 6, 5, what these uh, Roman numerals indicate, well basically the uppercase Roman numerals, in this case the 4 and the 5, uh, represent major chords and in the lower case they can either represent minor or diminished chords within a key. The Roman numeral system like this is useful because it means you can apply it to any key and you'll know which chords to use because uh, every major key has the same spelling, uh, it just starts on different notes and has different ornaments, so different sharps or flats. So in the case of the examples I've been showing you, this is in the key of C major. So if we go through C major, we have the first, which is a major, C, D, which is minor, E, which is a minor chord, F, the fourth, is a major, uh, G is a major, the fifth and sixth is A, which is A minor, and then the B is going to be diminished. So now you can see where these chords come from. The F is the fourth. <laughs> A minor is the 6th, and then the 5th is a G major chord. So, you could do the same thing again, you could choose a different key, and you'll know which chords to use automatically when you apply this Roman numeral numbering system. So now, I'll show you a bunch of examples to demonstrate how you could possibly use these chord progressions, so to give you some ideas and hopefully some inspiration to come up with your own uh, nice little ideas. So the first example that you'll see is an example of how you can divide the chord to be played by two different guitar parts. So pay attention to the example that one of the guitars is playing the lower two notes of the chord, whilst the other guitar is playing the higher two notes of the chord. And I threw in a little tapping guitar to play a little lead line over the top to make things a bit more interesting. So here's the same example again, but I've changed it up a little bit. I've taken out the lead line with the tapping guitar and I've tried to thicken up the harmony sound by adding um, a MIDI keyboard. So I've done a pad with a synth and also I've got another guitar using some sus chords and some power chords uh, to emphasize this nice big thick harmony. example is inspired by more of the Widdly style guitar bands out there, uh, most notably Chan, 
and listen how the lead line changes with the chord progression. And I accomplished this by using a, a combination of arpeggios and scales. Each lick starts off with an arpeggio run basically, and then I glue it all together by using scales. The piano is playing the basic chord progression underneath to emphasize the harmony, but this could also be played on a guitar, of course. Um, I'm quite proud of this one and I hope you enjoy this one. So that's it for episode two. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. So please share your ideas with me. You can share them on Instagram or you can get in touch with me at my email. My email address is on my YouTube page in my about section. I would like to see what you wanted to do. And also I was thinking of doing um, a kind of an idea where I give you a chord progression and then everybody submits their ideas and then I'll make a video about that. Perhaps I'll do that on YouTube and I can critique a little bit about that. I think that might be quite good fun. So let me know down below if you'd like to see and do that. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to the patrons of the channel. If you are interested in supporting the channel, I do have a Patreon page where you can sponsor me each month and you get a few things in return for that. And there's a link down below for that in the description. Now, all the gear that you saw in this video, I have Amazon affiliate links for that. So if you do click through and buy anything from Amazon, I get a small commission from each sale, which helps obviously support this channel and also helps support keeping my website up and running and these kind of things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.